Welcome to Salt Travel Co. Today we are taking you to Montezuma. Montezuma is located in Costa Rica at the very bottom of the Nicoya Peninsula. Montezuma is a popular vacation destination for a mix of demographics. You've got backpackers and hippies looking for a slice of the Pura Vida pie, organic, gluten-free, and vegan, please, gorgeously fit people getting yoga instructor certified, adventurous couples seeking a romantic getaway, and throw in some young families traveling around the area for good measure. A lot of people came here and decided not to leave. It's home to people from all over the world. Known for being an off-the-beaten path, tropical beach town with a Rasta Bohemian vibe, this small oceanside town will feel like your second home in a couple of days, if not a couple of hours. Montezuma has a little something for most. There are modest bungalows and some simple hotel rooms offering charming decorative touches and tropical laid-back style. And there's the other end of the spectrum with a luxurious resort, great for honeymooners, fancy yoga retreat, and lavish vacation homes dotting the hills. But all visitors will be greeted with jungle animals, frogs, bugs, and nature. So it's not for someone looking for a concrete jungle, Miami high-rise style view through the glass window experience. We only mention that just so that you know what to expect. If you want an authentic, cute, rustic Costa Rican beach town with some amazing dining options, a chance to get to see wild animals like monkeys, parrots, and turtles in the wild, and enjoy stunning beaches, then you will love Montezuma. Let's dive in. Getting around. Montezuma's downtown is two blocks by three blocks more or less, so if you're getting around on foot, you will be perfectly fine. The town is tiny, however, that being said, there are lots of beaches spanning in both directions over miles. Steep hills to some of the restaurants and accommodations, and a lot to see in the surrounding areas, so you might want some wheels. If you are familiar with our preference for transportation, it won't come as a surprise that we recommend renting a 4x4 ATV or a side-by-side -side style contraption. For us being able to zip around up and down dirt roads and steep hills while having the wind in our face and the monkeys visible overhead is the best way to go. Otherwise, a small SUV will work fine. Now back to the center of town. Maneuvering a car through the slim, crowded streets can be tricky, especially during December and any given weekend and parking can be limited, so you might just park on the outskirts and walk. A note on safety, Montezuma is considered a very safe place, but as with any town catering to tourists, petty theft can happen, so don't leave anything in your car. Okay, back to the good stuff. Let's pick up some supplies. Check out the local grocery store. You could pick up some healthy snacks. There are some locally made chips that are made from yuca and plantain. There is what I call beans in a bag. There's nuts and fresh fruit and coconut water fresh from the pipa, which is sure to keep you full between meals. Check out the Saturday Organic Market and pick up fresh organic fruits and vegetables, plus freshly made breads, homeopathic teas, and lots more. It's a fun ambiance as well. Everybody from the community gets together, plays the drums, and has a nice time. The locals set up tables of their crafts along the streets as well. Bienvenidos a Montezuma. You can grab a smoothie or an ice cream, a fruit bowl or a croissant, a coffee or an espresso at the Ice Dream Cafe right on the corner in the main part of town. There's a little soda, which offers delicious gallo pinto for breakfast and cheap, easy food all day. And actually, there's a couple little restaurants that you'll find around that are really good budget food places with a good bang for your buck and tasty food. We chose to have breakfast beachside. The food was okay, but the view was awesome. The pizza place, Bruno's, is a hit and often has a line of people waiting to eat. Grab your pizza to go and some beers or wine and have a picnic. You can also sit beachside at Chico's Bar and sip a cocktail or cold beer while enjoying a pretty typical menu. Local tip, try the chili guaro, a spicy shot of tomato juice with the local booze guaro or cacique. Cafe Organica is great any time of day, and it feels great to eat healthy when you're hot and sporting a bathing suit. 
And then again, it is vacation, so a couple of pina coladas at Ilang Ilang are healthy too, right? Our favorite dinner spots are Cocolores and Playa de los Artistas. Both kill it in ambiance and food quality. Playa de los Artistas can be counted as a once-in-a-lifetime experience and not to be missed no matter your budget. Reservations are recommended. Clandestina is a must in our opinion. It's a little brewery and a restaurant and it's always rated as one of the top restaurants in Montezuma. They offer a truly incredible fusion cuisine and a delicious homemade brew. They have a butterfly garden as well and comfortable hotel rooms. Okay, let's go to the beach. One of the top things to do in Montezuma, post up at the beach. The beaches here are special. There are dozens in varying sizes and wave activity level. Some are sandy and sprawling and some are rocky nooks. Low tide, you can find cozy little tide pools just for you and your honey. Or check out the long white sand beaches and watch the surfers put on a show. Swimming, surfing, beautiful clear water, people watching, picnics, the beach has a lot to offer besides just a great tan. And then remember, when it's time to get out of the sun and find some shade, go under the almond trees, not the palm trees full of coconuts. Not only is there Playa Montezuma, but up and down the road you have Playa Cedros, Playa Lajas, Playa Cocolito, and Playa Grande, plus many more. Some unique things about the area are the long beach walks to somewhat secret spots, including the Cocolito Beach and Waterfall, a two-hour walk from the center of town. If you like a nice long walk, either try to leave as early in the morning as possible, or if you set out in the afternoon, remember that sunset is always somewhere around 5.30 p.m. So plan accordingly to make it back in time before it gets dark. You can also take a horseback tour to get here. Like we mentioned, there are many reasons having transportation will come in handy, and this is one of those moments. The Cocolito Beach and Falls can be reached by car, ATV, etc. by driving to the Tangomar Resort and then following the signs. A 10 to 15 minute walk on a nice trail and you are there. Truly a gem and potentially the most beautiful beach in the whole area. An almost absurd notion that one could be better than the other as they are all so incredibly striking. Another great thing to do in Montezuma is to go to the waterfall. The Montezuma waterfalls consist of three different cascades and three large swimming holes. Check out our detailed episode on how to get to the waterfalls, which ones you might want to visit, and the best way to combine them all. At the end of this episode, there is a link to that video. visit to Tortuga Island is guaranteed to be a vacation highlight as well. Usually we recommend going through Kuru Wildlife Refuge, although that is about an hour drive away. However, if you're short on time or prefer the convenience, boats leave Montezuma every day and there are several companies offering this trip. You will get a fun boat ride, time for snorkeling, and a beach picnic and time to enjoy the picture-perfect island. When you are visiting Montezuma, you are only 7 kilometers away from Kabuya, the town down the road. Kabuya is home to the Wild Sun Animal Rescue Center and Cabo Blanco Absolute Nature Reserve. Both offer incredible opportunities to get to see native creatures. Wild Sun specializes in releasing animals that have been hurt back into the wild, and Cabo Blanco led the way in preserving areas of the country from development and protecting the wild inhabitants as the first nature reserve in the country. Really quickly, we'll cover how to get to Montezuma. There is a detailed list of companies and explanations on our website at salttravelco.com. If you happen to be coming from Jaco or Eradura area, which is across the Gulf from Montezuma, the best way is to catch the taxi boat. A sightseeing adventure in itself, you very well might see sea turtles and even whales and dolphins in the crossing. It's the quickest and best way to go. Plus, the arrival to the beach is a little bit thrilling, watching these guys pull the boat up through the waves, let the people off or on, and then boogie out of there before another swell comes through. 
Other ways include taking the twice daily bus from San Jose at 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. daily. You can rent a car and drive or take a semi-private or private shuttle. You can also fly from either international airport to Tambor and then take a 45 minute taxi. We will also be taking you to Malpais and Santa Teresa, other destinations in Costa Rica and into the world beyond as soon as the borders reopen and we are able to travel again. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. We are happy to answer your questions in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy travels.